Hello, uh, watch this video until the end and you'll learn how to defeat the speeding tickets once and for all, 100%, complete dismissal. So on YouTube, if you search for a speeding ticket, you find two types of um, videos. Number one is from the attorneys. You know, they're trying to advertise, they, they're trying to attract people to use their service, pay them to use the service to get out of the ticket, such as like, uh, you know, ticket clinics. And number two are the people that they actually got the ticket and they somehow managed to diminish the ticket uh, by how many percent, whatever, and they want to share the experiences and they want to share what they went through and what they did. But uh, any of those videos, they don't tell you the exact details of how to actually defeat the tickets. So for example, attorneys, all they say is like, be nice to cops, ask if the uh, LIDAR or radar gun has been calibrated and try to kind of talk to the cop nicely to minimize the tickets. So like, let's say you got the, um, the speeding ticket, ask him if he can do uh, non-moving violation, something like that. And for others, other type of people, um, they talk about like go to the court and if the cops don't appear at the court then you'll be dismissed like set up for the trial of a written declaration you know a little smarter way and ask if same thing ask if the uh, radar or radar or lidar gun has been calibrated things like that but these are all useless information they're like kind of beat around around the bush so it doesn't really help you know it's the information that most people know already so I mean, if defeating the ticket is so easy, then why are there so many uh, ticket clinics? And why do they people still pay for the tickets and go to traffic schools and so forth? Um, it is very hard. So I'm going to tell you my experiences so you can kind of utilize them to minimize the chances of paying for the tickets. Uh, before going any further, I'm going to emphasize a few points. So number one, I'm not an attorney. And number two, I'm not giving any legal advice. Number three, I'm not telling you what to do, what not to do, or follow me. Number four, I'm not implying the fact that if you do as I say, you get your tickets dismissed 100%. I'm just relaying the message. I'm just relaying the facts that happened to me uh, on four incidents that uh, all four of them, I got completely dismissed. That's all I'm saying. So. It's up to you whether you believe or not. It's up to you whether you take my advice or not. It's completely up to you. I don't want anyone to kind of uh, go like, oh, I listened to you and this happened, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I don't want none of that, okay? It's completely up to you, okay? But the fact is that I'm going to talk about four tickets, uh, the incidents uh, about the four tickets that I got 100% dismissal, okay? So... Uh, before actually talking about the uh, the actual tickets, uh, how to do it, I'm going to talk about three principles that you need to kind of know. Um, I mean, this is the way I thought in the beginning. So principle, principle number one, you need to learn the system, how it works. So what exact laws are there? What are your rights? And what's happening out there? For example, like... 3 million tickets are issued in California every year. So that means 250,000 tickets every month or over 8,000 tickets a day in California only. Okay. Um, number two, you need to know the psychology of the cops issuing the tickets and then um, the judges in the courts. So, uh, for example, like cops, they write about 60 tickets monthly. Okay. And cops are more physical type, not the um, type that they write essays. Uh, number three, um, the conditions change. So, for example, you know, uh, I heard that the uh, the cops they move the stations from this station to other stations very frequently, and then they even move to other cities or even states, and they even quit. Okay. Number three is the knowledge, it's the know-how. You need to know the science. The technology so whenever you get issued a ticket they usually uh, use the radar or lighter guns or they use the cars to uh, pace you so all of those are technology you need to know how they work 
in order to defeat the tickets okay so i'm gonna go over with step by step um number one when you're being cited you got pulled over okay so oh there's a cop behind you pulled over so you get your speeding ticket issued okay few things you need to remember so number one you need to be polite nice legit courteous okay don't argue with the cops don't make issues just follow the rules and just be nice number two don't talk too much never give any unnecessary information unless it is absolutely necessary okay number three don't ever admit guilt because once you do that's not gonna work for you it's gonna work against you and the whole point of this video can be just zip you know it can be just useless just by you doing uh, admitting guilt okay number four just sign and let it go just get the ticket and just let it go so don't argue with the cops don't complain just go with the flow um, let's say they ask you how fast do you think you're going you, you, you shouldn't say any numbers just say you don't know because you don't know you're not the god okay and why are you going so fast oh maybe i was uh, you know i was hungry or i i, I need you know i used to bat i need to use the bathroom or whatever just make a very very simple comments you know okay number two when you actually receive the ticket by mail so you got the ticket in the mail now the thing you need to do is go to the website so for orange county uh, it's occourse.org but for your location there should be uh, like certain websites so go to the website and find the word extension of the ticket here's a is a funny point um, on the actual ticket there are a lot of like instructions in there but you cannot find any word extension because uh, like there's no option to extend uh, there's a law for extension but in the ticket that, that doesn't show you why because they don't want you to know it's a loophole so they don't want you to know that's the key point funny okay so on the ticket there is a ticket issuing date and ticket pay by date okay so you can extend up to two times you can ex uh, make an extension two times um, if you don't extend you, you can pay the fine and keep the points or you can pay the fine schedule for traffic school and remove the points or you can hire an attorney to for them to handle the tickets so extend two times so that means go to the website and uh, put in punch in your uh, ticket number and ex make an extension then you get a mail so it's the second mail and you get the second mail with the ticket with the extended date once you receive that do an extension one more time for the second time for second and final time okay so you receive a third mail with the extended date and that's the extended that's the date that is the mandatory date that you need to appear at the court so uh, make make your calendar ready okay don't forget that date so on that date you go to the court and tell them you're filing uh, for trial by written declaration that's exactly what you say and then what they do is they make you pay for the fine and then they will give you form tr-205 tr-205 that's the form for the trial by written declaration okay and then new date due date is going to be issued so you have ample time uh, so once you receive the ticket you have to already start thinking okay what to what to write so you have a new due date so you need to prepare everything and send by that date but i recommend sending a week earlier so uh, you don't run into any discrepancies uh, and you, you want to do a certified mail and delivery confirmation so the reason we are doing the extensions is this there are two reasons we're doing it number one we're increasing the chance of for them to go wrong so uh, I mentioned in the beginning uh, the the cops can transfer to other stations so they can transfer to other location or city or even state let's say they move to New York and if we, we are in California they don't want to come they're not gonna come all the way to California just for the ticket and you will win um, and they could even quit if they quit then that's it they lose 
And number two, we have more time to prepare for the tickets. Okay, so those are the two reasons we are doing the extensions twice. And then number three, this is probably the most uh, complicated and most important uh, factor in this whole video. So you need to know what to write on your declaration. So let's talk about the objective first. What are what's our main number one objective? Is to prove them wrong. Second objective is. We want to prove them that we are very knowledgeable and persistent. So that's, uh, we need to study case by case uh, very deeply. Okay, So whether you got the ticket by radar detector or LiDAR detector or being followed by pacing, um, every cases are different. So you need to find a loophole. You need to try to find whatever they did wrong or they cannot prove you. So for example, you might want to ask for the uh, you know the calibration for the radar or lidar detector because uh, they need to be calibrated every six months for the tickets to be valid. So uh, ask for the calibration, and if they cannot prove the prove it to you, then you get your ticket dismissed. So once you ask that, then uh, the cop has to find his own way to find the data or get the data from uh, whoever they have the data. So number one, it's, uh, it's a very hassle. So they could just give up at the point. Or number two, they try to find it and data the data could be nowhere. So really, you know, the calibration has not been done. Then you get the, those two chances, okay? And in other cases, uh, you are trying to make as inconvenient as possible for the cops. So. The more you do, the more frustrated they get. So think about it. There are thousands of cases they handle. Why do they want to focus on your case if your case is a little more difficult than others? You know, make them give up your case than other cases. That's why you need to not argue or fight with the cops because once you do, at the time of the citation, then it becomes personal. When it becomes personal, then nothing beats that then you lose because they'll fight until the end. So try to gather as much information as possible and write as detailed and professional as possible. So once you find it, then write it very uh, professionally, specifically, and most of all, uh, scientifically because everything is science. So uh, for example, uh, you need to as for the angle, angle of the um, the lidar or radar detector being shot at your car, or um, were there any cars around? So think about it. Think about any possible issue that can help you resolve the case. And if you cannot find the case, then ask me. Uh, you know, make this chance available for you. Um, I'm gonna ask me and give me your citation and explain what happened explain to me what happened and maybe i can give you some kind of tip okay or guidelines and in the end you might want to write if the court does not find in my favor in this case then i'll request a trial de novo uh, i'm gonna go over with what the trial de novo is at the end okay so you might you want to sound as professional and as persistent as possible so once you mail in the declaration, you get an answer within about 45 days. I don't know how long uh, exactly it is, but then normally I think it's 45 days. And what happens over there is this. So once the declaration is sent, then that declaration is sent to the cop and he needs to respond within a certain period of time. He's not given all the time he wants because think about it, there are about 45 days so I think they're given about two to th maximum three or maybe four weeks max uh, for them to respond because they need to have time to you know prepare and send it back to me. Okay. So if he doesn't not respond, then it's an automatic win and you get your ticket dismissed. And that's what happened to three of my four cases. So complete dismissal. Zip. Finale. Pronto. Once this happens, then you'll receive a letter confirming the dismiss dismissal of the case along with the refund check that you already paid. 
Okay. So um, you're trying to make as difficult as possible. So for my cases, just to kind of go over with the uh, cases that uh, I had, for three cases, I wrote two pages. And for one case, I wrote three pages and I included seven pages of backup. So, you know, they have 10 pages to read and prepare. So that's a lot of work. Plus the courts, you know, the court working on these cases, they handle hundreds of different cases every day. They're flooded with the documents. They don't want to have, you know, time. They don't want to spend time to go over the details uh, that you wrote unless it is criminal. So for the cops, uh, unless it is uh, personal, and for the court, unless it is criminal, you have a very good chance of winning. So you're pretty much being a headache for them, so they don't want to deal with you. Okay? So for all three cases out of four, this is exactly uh, what happened to me. And I used to get all the same method to get out of the ticket. Ticket dismissed 100%. I'm not talking 30%, 40%, or 50%. I'm talking about 100% win. So I didn't spend any money unless, uh, except for the some mailing fees and some gas money to go to the courts. And no traffic school time spent and no attorney's fees uh, spent. So to recap, uh, number one, when being cited, just act calm and normal. Don't want to draw any special attention so that they can remember you and become personal. Number two, when you get the ticket, go to the website, uh, make two extensions. Okay. Number three, on the due date of, of the second extension, appear at the court and notify that you want to file the trial by written declaration and pay the fine. Number four, send the declaration one week before the deadline and use the certified and delivery confirmation mail. And uh, by the way, just keep all the records. So keep all the copies because if something gets lost, then uh, you don't want to risk your chance of getting lost and you have no data to prove. So you want to have all the everything you sent, keep a copy and then keep for yourself in case something happens so that, uh, you know, you can make, uh, if this happens, then, you know, you have to ask them to reconsider the case. And it's act of God, you have the receipt of being sent. So maybe they can, you know, be nice and uh, they can reconsider. So we already made two extensions so that uh, it's going to increase the chance of winning, right? And by going through a trial by written declaration, it's increasing uh, more chances of winning. So, for example, uh, think about it, the psychology of the cops. So police officers, they're the physical type. They're not really the studying type. They are more action oriented than writing skills oriented. So, I mean, do you like writing? In high school, uh, you know, teachers make you write a bunch of essays. Do you write, do you like it? No, nobody really likes writing too much. So, and it's not just, just simple writing. It's a writing, complex writing with science, theory, law, and more. The more complicated you prepare, the harder it gets for them to properly respond. It's very stressful. So they have so many other things to do that they do not wish to be tied up with your case, you know, which is kind of complicated, unless it is personal. So very likely, he will just simply forfeit or give up and move on. You know? Plus the courts working on these cases, they handle hundreds of these cases every day. They're flooded with documents. They don't want to have time to go over with the details too much unless it is criminal so for the cops unless it is uh, personal and for the courts unless it is criminal you know you have a very good chance of winning so you're pretty much being a headache for them so they do not want to deal with you i mean for example i write two to three pages uh, for the uh, the declaration plus sometimes I include, I attach about seven pages of proof. So they need to go over with like 10 pages of like nonsense, like science. So they don't want to deal with it. Now, remember me saying three out of four cases? So all three cases, I went through a trial by written declaration. 
Then what's the fourth one? Well, that's one the, the one that uh, is a special case that I had to go through one more step. So there's one more step and I'm going to cover on the, on the other uh, video, okay? I won still, so I won 4 out of 4, so it's 100% win. But on the fourth case, it got a little more complicated and I'm going to discuss that later on. In fact, I'm going to you know, post another video just for that uh, case. And by the way, I'm going to post all four separate videos explaining about four different cases because the more cases you, you hear, you get more a better idea of how to handle each case. Maybe your case is similar to mine. So out of those four cases, it could be. After all, understanding the system, knowing the psychology will help. But without knowing the actual know-how, the knowledge of how to handle things, the whole picture cannot be completed. So on the next four videos, I'm going to post each case separately and profoundly so you can get the idea of how things can be done. So please stay tuned. Please subscribe, like, and put on the notification bell. Thank you.